What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and I'm here in San Bernardino at Meat La Cafe because Meat La Cafe is the reason Taco Bell exists. What? Let's get into it. Meat La Cafe was founded in 1937 by Lucia Rodriguez as an important gathering place for the Latino community in San Bernardino, which was racially segregated at the time. Thought leaders needed a place to sit, exchange ideas, or just relax, and Meat La Cafe in San Bernardino was that place. Right across the street, restaurateur Glenn Bell owned the second iteration of what was once Bell's Drive-In, this time Bell's Burgers, serving ground meat, hamburgers, and also hot dogs. Now he'd see the long line stretching around the corner at Meat Lock Cafe every day, and he wondered what the secret was. So one day he went inside. So the secret was these tacos dorados, hard shell tacos, which Meat Lock Cafe would sell for 10 cents a piece. They were pretty simple, but they were good, and the American palate could relate to these, and the light bulb went off over Glenn Bell's head. So what did Glenn Bell do with that information? Well, he copied it. He opened a place called Taco Tia in San Bernardino, where he sold tacos for 19 cents a piece, hard shell, of course, with the shredded cheese and shredded lettuce, just like Meat Law Cafe. Eventually sold Taco Tia and opened up El Taco in Long Beach. And then in 1962, Bell sold his El Tacos to a partner and opened the first Taco Bell in Downey, where he sold what? Tacos Dorados, hard shell tacos, just like Meat Law Cafe. Look, I love Taco Bell for a hangover for late nights, but it's worth remembering every time you bite into a crunchy shell taco that it's because of Meat Law Cafe that they exist. I mean, it's such a community beacon that Cesar Chavez used to lead community meetings inside Meat Law Cafe. Wow. Meat Lock Cafe, the place that inspired Taco Bell, is much more than that. It's still an important community gathering spot 85 years later. All right, LA, it's been a minute.